right? Yep. Fresh Teaching wants to know, why did you quit voice acting after the show ended? You want the real answer? 100%. Okay. So, um, and I just want to put this out there that this has nothing to do with Danny. Okay. Danny's awesome. Danny's just trying to make a show. Okay. So we did Ed, Ed and Eddie for the longest time and, uh, we didn't get made, we didn't make that much money doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I wanted to raise Yeah. after eight years or whatever it is, nine years. It's a good show. Number one show you get a raise, right? How things work in life, you work for somebody for a long time, you get a raise. Yeah. So I wanted a raise. It wasn't even a ridiculous raise. Okay. So the production company that was dealing with it came back with a counter offer of, we'll blacklist you. Oh, wow. Yeah. But it's, it's, a, it's a very reasonable counter offer, right? Yeah. I would like a raise instead of coming back with a different number or something. It was, you'll never work in this town again. As an answer, it was a threatened to blacklist me. So I said, okay, well, I blacklist you and I quit and I'm not doing this anymore because fuck you. Yeah. I've done this my whole life and your fucking response to something like this is, well, blacklist you? Like, fucking, sucking gag on it. Like, I'm not even going to deal with you anymore. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Right? You come back with a response like that, it just, Rub me the wrong way. You know, like I've known you guys my whole life since I was little. And that's your response to we would like a raise, you know? And then it was hard because nobody else would get behind it because it was this one. Oh, we want to keep licking the friggin' proverbial kid of our overlords ripping us off for voice acting in Vancouver, right? Where I was like, you guys can all just straight up go fuck yourselves. And I, uh, I, I literally sold my place and moved away and signed up for college and got a different career where I could just go work and I, you know what I mean? And it would be that. And I'm not going to be somebody's little fucking fuck doll that they're going to think they can just put their thumb on me and threaten me with my job because I asked for a raise. So I quit. And I told them all to get fucked. Well, I'm glad you did that, man. So that is why. Good. Right? And like I said, this has nothing to do with Danny. Yeah. Okay. It's, you know, I'm not even going to name names because I just don't need to go there. Okay. Yeah. 100%. Right? But they know who they are and they know they suck dick sideways through straws. So I basically took their response and said, fuck you all then. Peace out. I don't need to be some monkey bitch to your fucking industry. It's a horrible, horrible industry. Yeah. You know, like I won't even get into that, but like, you can ask any young kind of people that did it their whole life. It's, it's kind of twisted. I mean, it's, it's fine for some people, but for the most part, it's a pretty twisted place to be. Well, it, it came up with, uh, I, I'm pretty sure you remember. Uh, Aaron it's, not, it's not reality. You know what I mean? Like the whole thing is not it's a the reality of the world. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of bullshit, a lot of fake, a lot of, hey, man, yeah. Yeah, I'm writing this script. Dude, you story be Like, I don't do the fake thing. I'm like, you don't have a script. There's no movie. Like, fuck off. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I couldn't do it anymore. And it was such bullshit. And I just was over it, you know? And I had my, like, you know what I mean? Like I said, the soul sucking industry, man. And it just wasn't for me anymore. Especially after the whole being threatened to be blacklisted thing. Like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, how about this? I quit. See ya. Yeah, man. Well, from Tony and from Julian at the What's in My Head podcast, go fuck yourself. Um, but uh, when I talk to when I talk to Aaron, throw a, a, a straw. <laughs> when I when I when I talk 